Ontario is stacked with artisanal goods, all kinds of purveyors from amazing alcohols, the best butter and honey and all that K2 milling. There's so much exciting stuff here that, uh, you know, I spend so much time traveling around the world. Everything's right here in my backyard. So we're just exploring some more of it today. We're using local lavender today, local berries, local herbs, local eggs. We don't have to go anywhere else, man. It's all here. It's all local. It's all sustainable. It's all organic. It's all delicious. Yeah. I was here seven days ago with my best mate, Conrad, and I can't tell you how inspired I was throughout the week to return just seven days later to bring you a lavender-inspired dish. I'm gonna pair it with a brunch item that we all love. We're gonna make Greek yogurt pancakes, but I wanna talk visuals. When I look here and I look behind me, I'm inspired by colors. I like to make my food colorful. I'm a firm believer that the eyes eat first. And if the food looks delicious, I'm telling you it's gonna taste delicious. We're gonna start this recipe by not making the pancakes, but making our creme anglaise. It's a pourable custard. It's something I learned in culinary school and I think everybody should know how to make it. It is a fundamental item in pastry and dessert. So we're gonna start by adding some Ontario dairy, some milk into our pot. We're looking for about three quarters of a cup. I'm also gonna add in three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. And we're gonna bring this to a gentle simmer. We don't wanna scald it, we don't wanna burn it. We want it nice and hot. That's gonna get added into this bowl over here. We're gonna do a liaison, a liaise. We're gonna connect these two together. So, egg yolks into here. We're gonna go ahead and add another item into this milk, into the dairy. These are vanilla beans from Madagascar. If you can't get these this week, make sure you book your flights as soon as you can. That goes in, that's gonna infuse this with that beautiful vanilla flavor. If you have to use vanilla extract, you know those little bottles that you get, then don't tag me in the recipe. Okay, so once this comes up to a nice gentle simmer, we're gonna pour this in. This is just gonna take a few minutes. And again, we're making some Greek yogurt pancakes inspired by the color purple. Today is all about shades of purple and how this inspires my cuisine. So now that our dairy that is now steeped with that beautiful vanilla has come up to a gentle simmer, we're now gonna temper. Again, if we add all the dairy into the egg yolks, we're gonna cook those egg yolks. So we're gonna temper, we're gonna try and get these to a similar temperature. I will start by ladling in just a splash of the cream and the milk, and let's move this around, and let's do that again using both hands. Okay, so we'll just drizzle in while whisking and I can't tell you the smells, the aromats I'm getting. Now I'm getting that cream and that dairy and I'm getting that vanilla. And if you look around me, all this purple, I love purple so much. It's always been one of my favorite colors. So here we are today experimenting with different colors and different techniques. And look what we're doing here. We're doing our liaise. So this is our creme anglaise, our English cream. It's luxurious, it's silky, it's creamy, it's fatty, it's fun, it's memorable, it's brunchy. So. I think that's enough. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and pour in our mixture into our pot now that it's come up to temperature enough. So I'm just gonna pour this in here just as such. And we're not gonna stop whisking this. I'm also going to switch to a wooden spoon, a roux spoon that was kindly given to me by, uh, by someone who had never met me, but saw me making a roux without a roux spoon. So I'm gonna use this today. And we're gonna go back and forth and I'm looking for this mixture to come up to 180 Fahrenheit. And when it does, we're going to strain it and hit it with the lavender. Lavender is part of the mint family. And as you can see from where I'm at right now at Purple Hill Farm in Creemore, we're not short of lavender anywhere. So this is what's inspiring this dish. It's the color, it's the aroma, it's the essential oils in here that are like tranquil and serene. It reminds you of a spa weekend. I've never really had a spa weekend before, but I'm assuming it smells like this. A deep tissue massage, all these fun things. There's also something I noticed about lavender this week, and it's whenever I bring it up, people, people kind of get weak in the knees. It's just when you hear the word lavender, it's just so soothing and comforting and soft and welcoming. It's like a big hug. So that's what we're gonna use. This is gonna go into our creme anglaise. We're gonna bring this up to 180 Fahrenheit, and then we're gonna strain it out. So now that the creme anglaise is getting up to temperature, let's go ahead and make our Greek yogurt pancakes. 
Now to make these, this is flour and eggs, vanilla. We have self-raising flour, baking powder, salt, and a whole lot of love. We're gonna put this into our dish. We're gonna put this onto our flat top here. I use these rings so I get perfect circles. You just wanna hear a little bit of a sizzle and it will rise, so move it around if you have to. And you'll notice that I have different grades. Again, we're very much inspired by colors today. I wanna to see the whole spectrum in all the pancakes when I stack it up for you guys. So you notice that there's a little bit of blackberry puree in this ramekin and again, go ahead and spread this out to the edge. And then lastly, the most blackberry puree. Look how beautiful this is. It's stunning. I'm all about colors, perp gang. This is the most beautiful thing. I also wanna mention when you're cooking with lavender, if I use it right now, it may give off a very soapy taste. So you wanna use culinary lavender, you wanna use dried lavender. You can hang it upside down, you can, throw it out in, you can throw it out on a tray in the sun, and you can leave it for a week, and you'll wanna use culinary lavender. This is dried lavender, very important. Our last pancake goes down, and that Greek yogurt is very rich and creamy and voluptuous. I feel a mosquito biting me, it's no big deal. I also wanna mention that behind me, you can hear the buzzing of the bees for what feels like miles and miles. It's almost deafening when you get in the middle. So let's cook off our pancakes here. And let's wait for our creme anglaise to come up to temperature. Take a close up and look at these pancakes, the Greek yogurt pancakes. We have all these different colors. Look at the bubbles on top. This indicates to us that this is ready to cook. Be careful, this may be very hot. And we're gonna just get underneath and give it a nice flip. And we're looking for a nice golden brown on the bottom. Whoa! There she goes. Look how perfectly round and spherical that is. Let's take off the other ring. Again, might be a little bit hot. And let's grab our palette knife. I'm actually just gonna slide that over. That's a trick for you at home. You can move them around. And let's give this a, another flip. Perfect, nice circular shape. Lastly, when you see these bubbles, wear a rag and pick this up. And we're gonna give this last one a flip like so. Perfectly circular. I want you guys to see the gradient. These are ombre pancakes. So we start with a little bit of blackberry puree. We start with none a little bit of blackberry puree, and then we build them up. So I have about 12, 15, maybe 100 pancakes that we're gonna stack up, but each one is gonna be a different color. It's all about visuals. Get inspired by where you're at. Look behind me, if you see the setting, this is what is driving and fueling this dish that I'm bringing to you today. So color is everything, and of course, flavor as well. These are Greek yogurt pancakes that you can find on my IGTV, Why Greek Yogurt? It's packed with protein, it's dense, it's rich, it's fulfilling, it's satisfying. That's one of the reasons why I love Greek yogurt pancakes. It's a great way to start your day, or your partner's day, or your kid's day, or your grandmother, your grandfather's day, or even your day. You gotta take care of yourself, so don't forget about that. So make this for anybody. This is a keeper. Now that our creme anglaise has hit 180 Fahrenheit, you can see it's a beautiful texture. We'll do the test, and that's a beautiful creme anglaise, English cream that we have. Now, let us put this into our strainer. But before we do, let's add in Purple Hill Farm lavender honey, something that you can spread on toast, something that you can add to a multitude of recipes, especially with baking, and something you can just spoon into your mouth. So we're gonna add in a nice chunk, a proper couple teaspoons into our creme anglaise. This is now off the heat. And now we have our culinary lavender, our dried lavender. Let's see what that looks like. How beautiful is that? And now that this is dried, I can add it in to my creme anglaise. And now I don't want the flavor to be too, too strong. That's why I'm adding it in now at the end. The vanilla, the lavender, it's so pretty. Let's pass this through our strainer, just like this. So you see all the vanilla beans, all that beautiful lavender is there. Make sure you get it all out. And again, I can't stress to you enough, creme anglaise is something that's very classic. It's like a pillar, it's a foundation recipe. It's something that every cook should know. Beautiful. Make sure you press on the back of the spoon and don't forget that is where the most flavor is. I can see all the vanilla pods and beans in there now. So what we're gonna do is remove this and now we can start plating. So I'm gonna take the biggest strawberry and put that on top and I'm gonna place these other strawberries around. Last week, Conrad and I also went strawberry picking, and then we did some more today. So these are local strawberries. If this were to fall over now, we'd have to replate it. So if you're at home doing this, take your time, see how the strawberries are manipulating the stack, and restructure it, rebalance it if you need to. So we have our local strawberries on top of our pancakes here, and we have our beautiful creme anglaise, studded with lavender that was taken just behind me here. 
and also that beautiful vanilla. So this goes here, strawberries on top, wild blackberries from my backyard. Let's see if we can make a little bit of a mess. That's all the mess we're gonna make today. I didn't really wanna make a mess, but look how beautiful this is. So we have two different types of berries. Oh, they're all staying, almost all staying, that's good. Now, what we're gonna do with our ombre stack of pancakes is top it with our creme anglaise. We have the beautiful Purple Hill lavender inside, the Purple Hill honey, and we have that beautiful Madagascar vanilla. This is the real fun part. So we're gonna let this drizzle on top and let this cascade a little bit down. And this is luxury, and this is brunch, and this is a dish that if someone has it at your house, they're gonna come over every day for the rest of your life to get it. Look how beautiful this looks as it drizzles down. It's looking stunning. Make sure you get some on my side. And look how beautiful that looks. Lastly, what we're gonna do is we're going to take some micro basil and I'm gonna place that around as well just so we get some beautiful color on top. And here guys, you have my Purple Hill Lavender Farm inspired pancake stack with the lavender honey. We have lavender that we dried for culinary use. And look how beautiful this is. You can see the gradient, super dark at the bottom. Then it gets lighter as you move on top. This is a dish that is inspired by the colors, the visuals around me, and having such a beautiful abundance of lavender, such a treasure, so close to my home in Toronto. When I think of purple, I think of childhood, I think of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I think of just having a lot of fun. I think of coloring outside of the lines and breaking boundaries. We're gonna add a little bit of this on top, and these are just purple beads. Just a couple drops here, just like that. And this dish is finished. This is our ombre Greek yogurt, blackberry, lavender infused, creme anglaise, pancake stack, micro basil. Thank you to Purple Hill Lavender Farm for letting me come in here and act like a goof like I always do. I love making cool stuff with food. I love painting my nails. This is an experience that I'll never forget. Creamore is now my home away from home. I had a blast filming LCBO Five Stops here as well. I'll come back anytime and anybody, if you make this at home, make sure you call me. I will help you eat it. Hope you enjoy this dish.